this is FAC F double AC FAC 741E gate automation motor you can see uh, this is AC motor actually and now we have repaired this motor and after that uh, actually there was a problem in the board actually so we have repaired it so you can see we are given gate open command and during the gate open command this magnet switch travels with a track and then and it stop and when it is stop you can see on the display it, it should come 03 and if you can notice there is only five LEDs which are glowing now so as soon as this, see as soon as I put the magnetic switch you can only see the five let me dark the light hope you can see this now you can see only six um, all six lights are glowing and as soon as I put the magnetic switch you can see the left side top light LED glows off okay so this you can uh, this is all I'm trying to tell you this if the LED is not working so you can you can understand that what could be the problems right now right and now I give close command first of all during closing uh, see you can see the photoelectric sensors these were the original sensors and now it has been replaced with the intramatic sensors which is an Italian brand okay. so you can see one sensor is here one sensor is here and I am just putting my hand between that and you see it is sensed and automatically it is opening the gate ok and when it is opening we have this sorry it's opening again the same and when it is closing this is a sensor magnetic sensor which closes it you can see here when it is I, I try to put this magnet switch which is a closing limit uh, magnet switch you can see the display comes 0 0 and you can see the LED which is in the bottom left goes off ok and during photoelectric sensor issues you will see this top right and top left LED uh, these are the indicators for the photoelectric sensor in case of any trouble with photoelectric sensor or any wiring issues this top right and top left LEDs uh, gives you indication that the problem is the photolytic sensors. I hope this video helps at least for the beginners and for the wiring yes I can explain you this wiring also one is basically for the push button two there is no wiring here three you can see very clearly three is basically and four are both for the photoelectric relay I think you know that for the photo edit sensor there is a one receiver and one transmitter in which we have four terminals and another one we have two terminals for the four terminals there will be positive negative 24 DC and the remaining two this is what we have connected there 3 and 4 and there is a jump actually between 3 to 7 right and then we come to 5 which is a stop command oh sorry it seems it's broke you can see when it broke uh, there is no LED on the bottom right ok it went off so I can see this oh, right so as soon as I connect back yeah it close right yeah so and then 5 and 6 are there is a jump and 5 and 11 also there is a jump ok and 7 is a negative supply and 8 is also negative supply uh, in case you want to shuffle it okay, there is no issue 8 goes to the push button again 9 is a positive but we have not used here 9 9 and 10 both are positive so you can use it either 9 or 10 and the positive goes to photoelectric uh, sensors and this 7 
terminal number 7 negative goes to photo red sensor and the last one is 11 which is a jump basically between 5 and 11 right and 12 is a uh, we have not used 12 here dummy and remaining 13 14 15 13 is a is for the magnetic you know there is a magnetic sensor here inside the motor and that's a common for the 13 is a common 14 is uh, the open and uh, 15 is for the uh, sorry 14 is for the am I right no 14 is for the open 16 and 17 a dummy I think I missed somewhere 13 is common 14 is here uh, open 15 is is close 16 17 we have not used it but that uh, is for the uh, lamp okay neutral and uh, lamp right and remaining you can see is a hard thing and then is a neutral and then is a line so here are the wiring details for the fac 741 e jet 16 safe model right uh, yes you can see here also uh, hope this video helps for the beginners in case of any doubts uh, you may please comment thank you